Hi, I'm Gemma, and today I'll show you how to create an email template that you can use for your campaign sense. Email templates are saved layouts containing placeholder content that you can easily replicate every time you want to send a campaign. They're really helpful for ensuring your emails are always on brand, as well as saving you a lot of time when crafting campaigns. In today's example, let's create a template that we can use for sending our weekly newsletter. In this video, we will cover creating an email template, how to use the content and styles tabs, how to get your brand styles to apply to the template, how to add blocks and layouts to your template, how to use universal content, and how to preview and test your template. Start by navigating to the templates tab of your Klaviyo account. Now let's click on the create template button. This will take you to the templates library. You have the option here to choose a pre-made template from the Klaviyo library to start building from, to select from a library of basic templates, to import a HTML template, to access all the templates you've already made, or to access your Shopify notification templates if you are using Shopify. For this example, let's get started with a basic template. I'm going to use the one to two columns template here. Klaviyo will show you a quick preview of the template so you can verify it's the one you want to use. If you're happy, click Use Template and you'll be taken to the Email Template Editor. Once within the editor, you'll see some options on the left-hand side. You can switch between content and styles. Let's take a look at the Styles tab first. Styles refers to the default styling and colours that this template adopts for things like background, colour and links. You can change the default styles here in the Styles tab. However, if you've already set up your brand styles, you won't need to do this because any blocks you drag in from the content section will automatically adopt your brand styles. Let's test this by dragging in a header slash link bar. Here you can see it's my branded Beantown header. The content section also contains many other blocks that are useful components when building an email, such as text, image, button, and table blocks. You can drag any of these blocks over from the right-hand side to add them to the body of the template. The content tab also allows you to customize the layout of your email. For example, as well as adding an additional section to your email, you can also add columns. Columns are great for mixing up the layout of your email template and being economical with space. There are two helpful little safety mechanisms that I want to point out when working in the email editor. The first is that your edits save automatically, as indicated up here. The second is that there are undo and redo buttons located here. Let's click the undo button to remove the columns I just added. You'll notice that you can toggle here between default and universal content. Universal content is content that you have favorited with the intent of reusing it in future templates. You can favorite any block by clicking on the star icon next to it. Once you've set up universal content, you can access it by clicking on the universal content tab. For example, I've turned Beantown's brand story into universal content, so I can use it in every email template. So let's drag it in. The great thing about universal content is that when you edit it, it gets edited across all templates where you've used that content. So you don't need to lose time updating all of your different templates. You can edit it directly from the template you're working in over here. Once you're finished with your template, you can click Preview and Test to preview exactly how your email would appear on desktop and on mobile. You can also send a test to yourself to make sure everything is displaying properly in your inbox. Congrats! You have successfully created an email template and you're ready to use it in your next campaign.